Hi, it's Laura here from Sprintax. Well done on getting to the final step of the Sprintax US tax preparation process. By now, we have determined your residency status, your entry and exit dates to the US, and all about your university or college. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to e-file your federal tax return with Sprintax. So let's take a look. When you complete our federal and state tax preparation questionnaire, you will arrive at the review section of Sprintax. Here, you may have the opportunity to e-file your federal tax return depending on your personal circumstances. So what is e-filing? Well, in short, you may not need to download, print and mail a physical copy of your tax return to the US tax office. Instead, you could be eligible to file your federal tax return through Sprintax without ever having to leave the comfort of your home. It's also important to mention that by e-filing your federal return, you will receive your US tax refund much faster than if you file a paper return. In order to electronically file your federal taxes, you must complete the e-file authentication section. This involves providing some basic details about your previous federal tax return, e-signing your return with a five-digit PIN number, and consenting to some basic terms and conditions. Before you can sign your return, we must first verify your identity. To do so, we'll ask you to provide information from your previous year federal tax return. If you filed a federal tax return last year, you can either provide your pre-order adjusted gross income or your self-selected five-digit PIN. Your adjusted gross income can be found on line 35 of your form 1040NOR. Please ensure the information you provide here is correct. If you did not file a tax return for tax year 2023, please enter zero as your pre-year adjusted gross income. If you filed an amended tax return for tax year 2023, please provide the adjusted gross income listed on the return you filed originally. The next step is e-file authentication. You'll be required to select any five digit number to electronically sign your tax return. Ensure you keep a record of this PIN in a safe place. You'll need to acknowledge that this PIN is your signature and that you are now authorizing transmission. Next, you'll be required to read the disclaimer and confirm that you have reviewed the information that you have entered and examined your tax return. You will then be required to read the consent statements and confirm your agreement with these statements. You will also need to confirm that the social security numbers of each person on the return are correct. The final step is to sign the consent disclosure by entering your date of birth. You'll then be ready to electronically send your tax return to the IRS. Simply click on the arrow to proceed. You will be sent a one-time password to your email address. Please enter this to proceed with successfully e-filing your federal tax return. It's important to know that e-filing only applies for your federal tax return. If you're not eligible for e-filing or would prefer to file your tax return by mail, you can download a copy of your completed tax return from Sprintax. What's more, if you're required to file a state return, you must download, print, and sign your state tax documents and mail them to the local tax office. And that's it. It's that simple. You have now completed the steps of the Sprintax US tax preparation process. Well done. Finally, if you have any outstanding questions about e-filing your federal tax return, the Sprintax live chat team are available to support 24 seven. Check back in to Sprintax University for more tips and tricks on filing your US federal and state tax return.